Hey guys, Matt from Hobby King here. Uh, this is behind the scenes of our May the 4th video. And the first step is to pour ridiculous amounts of water into uh, the ground. Okay, so this is our swamp from Empire Strikes Back where Luke's lost his ship and Yoda teaches him about the force and how to raise it up. Only we're using a quad. All right, we gotta check the depth of our swamp to make sure it is deep enough for our quad. All right, I'm gonna have to get the shovel and dig that out a little bit. Oh, damn. Maybe I should have dug this deeper before I put the water in. There you go. Matt's filmmaking tip number one. Think ahead. So we're gonna get a shot where we throw it in and that's when the drone's crashing into the swamp. And then we're gonna position it to look like how it's sitting in the, in the film. Yeah, there's a good hole there now. All right, I wasn't deep enough. Let's um, make it deeper. It was bouncing out. Whew. It's starting to smell. More water. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. My, that was purple. All right. I'm gonna get my bubbles over there. Okay, wait. Yeah. Now, when your bubble blowing tube gets clogged up and you have to suck it out. Don't let the cameraman convince you that it's sewerage because uh, it's better off if you just don't know. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we've just done the, uh, the force, uh, force raising of the masterful ship here. And uh, as you can see, Mike's drone needs a little bit of a clean. <laughs> Thanks for donating it, Mike. All right. Um, over to you, James. Weekly update time, guys. Back in the New York studio, and we have Max back on camera, back okay. for the weekly update. You returned to the company after a little hiatus, but you are back, and yep. we're happy to have you back because we have Joe Nile coming up. So uh, Max, uh, we put him right back to work, and he went right back to work. We had the Red ME163. We didn't get a chance to put rockets in it for uh, the new product video, um, and now we want to do it down at Joe Nile. So Max did a little work, not only on the rockets, but explain a little bit about what we have going on here. Well, you know, night flying is a big thing down at Joe Nile, and yes. we want to night fly everything we can. So I rigged up the ME with a bunch of LEDs. We have LEDs on the leading edge, we've got the vertical, we have a bunch on the bottom. So this thing is going to be nice and bright and shining around and potentially going to have a nice flaming trail out the back at night too. Yeah, well we never did the rockets during the nighttime when we filmed the Emmy originally. So we hope nobody minds at Joe Nall. They're going to do it somewhere. So if you hear it, you probably know it's us. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do now though, we have to test it. And what happened was I ordered about 18 rockets, 18 motors. And uh, you're supposed to use a C6-0, yeah. and uh, they sent me one three-pack for some reason of B6-0s. Mm -hmm. So we're using those as our test. So just to make sure the switch works and that we don't blow up the back of our plane. And uh, we're going to use some safety goggles. Yes. We're going to hold it. And <laughs> we've, did, we've done this once before, but we're going to do it for camera. So let's go do it. Now, Max, nothing changed, right, since the original ME163? Nope, this is going to be the same way that uh, Matt did it in our Tips Bench video. and um, Way so back when? Way back when. So what we're going to do is we're going to power on the model first before we do anything else. Yes. And then we're going to insert the igniter and the plug just in case, you know, nothing. Well, we yet. have a controller switch in there. Yes. And when you do plug in the battery, that flashes on and off. You can test this with an LED. That's all in that video. And uh, if you had a rocket attached to it when you did that, it would ignite. So yes. this is the type of thing, if you're gonna put the rocket motor on your ME163, you power everything on first, and then you do what we're about to do for setting it up. So. Switch is disengaged. You're, you're all, all good? Yep. I don't wanna get blown in the face. I promise you, you won't. There's a little JST that Max has rigged. He'll talk about that after we fire it off to the back of the motor, and that's where you place your igniter. Yep. So you get each end in there as far as it can go. Then you're gonna bend the top part, stick that into the motor, and then I just like to push it up against. And then we have the little plug. And I'm gonna 
a stick on the back. And these all come with your uh, model rocket engines, the plugs and the igniters. Yeah, the plugs, igniters come with the Estes. We use Estes rockets. Yep, Estes rockets. And this is... That's a backup. That's a backup. <laughs> all right. We That's don't need that one. For fun. All right, so... Now remember your... Which way I'm going to turn it up against the... We're going to go against the concrete. You've got hearing protection on. I'm good on that. We've done this. I've we did this in the past. Are we right, ready? Right, you count it down. I'll count it down. So is it going to be a three, two, one, then go? Yep. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Nice. Woo. That worked beautifully. Yeah. It smells like a firework. <laughs> <laughs> but that one, uh, since it's a B6-0, it's a much shorter. Yep, it's a much shorter charge. We're going to be having the C6-0s. And remember to use the dash zeros because they don't have an ejection charge. Yep. And even though they don't have an ejection charge, we still epoxied the ends of these motors yes. just to make sure that none of the flaming bits of uh, you know rocket propellant go inside our foam plane and potentially cause some issues. Yeah, and if you have one with ejection charge, then this thing's just gonna blow up in the sky. It'll be awesome. And, uh, it'll probably, <laughs> probably look awesome. If you have it on video, please send it to us. Yes. We're gonna get back to a little more work for Jonal, and then uh, we'll be back at the field next time you see us. So. Come back. Last time you saw us, we were doing some Joe Nile prep with an ME 163 and rockets. Today, we're working on something that's gonna come out next week, right before we leave for Jonal, and that's this bad boy. We've teased it a few times over the last couple of months. People have been asking questions. When am I gonna see that blue balsa thing? Blue and white balsa thing? Well, here it is. This is the pits. Gonna be coming from a new line of ours called Kingcraft, and uh, you guys are really gonna dig it. So we have Alex Davis here. He's been flying it with us for the last couple months and now we're gonna do another flight. We had to get a few pickup shots before this video releases. So let's put it up, have some fun. <laughs> There you have it. We're flying that thing on a 4004S. Alex, you, you love it. Yeah, it's great. It's like a really good scale flyer. Right? It just looks pretty in the sky. Everybody who was at the field here earlier, they were so impressed by it. He was doing some of those low inverted passes and I mean, that's always impressive, but this is something we're definitely gonna be bringing down to Joe Nall next week. So that'll do it guys for this weekly update this week. And again, we leave for Joe Nall next Thursday. So I released a Joe Nall video uh, last week. So you guys can check that out. That has all the information of what you can expect for us. And uh, the next time you see us, we'll be down at Joe Nall. So we'll see you next week.